Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is how many different offspring genotypes are expected into a hybrid cross between parents heterozygous for all three traits when the traits behave in dominant and recessive pattern how many phenotypes and first let me start with simple example probably many of you uh, know how to build Punnett square and would be able to build Punnett square for example for such a cross like uh, when we have only one gene and in diploid organism such a gene can be represented by two alleles dominant and recessive and the Punnett square is going to be simple two by two. From my videos you also know how to build a Punnett square if we have dehybrid cross. So for example genotype of the parents are going to be capital A small a capital B small b and we have to cross with another genotype that is also going to be heterozygous for both genes. And in this case uh, we are going to get Punnett square that is going to be 4 by 4. So 16 cells. You can find many of such examples in your textbook. Usually example about uh, peas with different colors and surfaces of the uh, peas, which can be wrinkled or smooth. In today's problem we have three hybrid cross, so one parent going to be heterozygous for the gene A, heterozygous for the gene B and heterozygous for the gene C and we have to cross with another parent that is also going to be heterozygous for three genes. If we build a Punnett square it's going to be 8 by 8. So total number of cells are going to be 64. It's going to take you about 30-40 minutes to build such a Punnett square and to find all the probable genotypes and phenotypes in order to answer this question. Today I want you to propose simple and fast uh, solution of this problem. Actually it takes me about between 5 to 10 seconds to solve this problem but it's going to take me a few minutes to explain you so you would understand in deeps how to solve this type of problems not necessary you are going to have the same or exactly the same problem on your exam it can be different problem variation of this problem but you now would know how to solve it fast so take a look here we have three genes gene a in one parent which is in diploid organism represented here by two alleles because we know that each parent is heterozygous for the gene A, each parent heterozygous for the gene B and each parent is heterozygous for the gene C. How many variants we are going to have for example in a progeny if we take one gene A. You can predict of course that there are three possible genotypes in a progeny. The first variant of the genotype is going to be a capital A capital A second capital A small a and third small a small a genotype. Again progeny can inherit for this gene with the two dominant alleles from each parent or one dominant one recessive allele or two recessive alleles from each parent. And as for the gene B we would see the same picture. Progeny may inherit two dominant alleles B dominant and recessive or two recessive alleles. And the same is true for the gene C. Progeny can inherit with the two dominant alleles, one dominant, one recessive or two recessive alleles. Now take a look. These two genotypes would make one phenotype. These two genotypes also would make one phenotype, one dominant phenotype. Because here we have simple Mendelian genetics and simple dominance. So heterozygous genotype would also make the same phenotype as homozygous dominant. And another phenotype is going to be homozygous recessive. And this is going to be another phenotype for each allelic pair for the gene A, 
B and C. Now take a look how many different phenotypes we have for the gene A. Just two. So let's put this number two here on top. How many different phenotypes we have for the gene B? Again, we have only two phenotypes. And let's put number two here. And how many different phenotypes we have for the gene C? Again, we have only two variants of the phenotypes. And now we have to multiply all these uh, probabilities and variants and we are going to have eight distinctive phenotypes possible in a progeny. Now let's find how many different genotypes we may have in a progeny. Again, this is going to be capital A, capital A, capital A, small a, and small a, small a genotype, capital B, capital B, capital B, small b, small b, small b genotype, and capital C, capital C, capital C, small c, and small c, small c genotypes are possible for each allelic pair in each uh, parent if each parent contribute any of these alleles. So this is a table which lists all possible uh, allelic pairs in a progeny. We have for each allelic pair, let's count one possible genotype, second and third. So three possible genotypes. For the gene B, we also have one, two and three different genotypes. And for the gene C, again, we have one, two and three different possible genotypes. Let's put these numbers here on top. So three, three and three. Let's multiply them and we are going to get 27. So our answer is going to be eight distinctive phenotypes are possible in a progeny and 27 different genotypes. For example, here is the one genotype, second, third for just two genes. And if you'll take three genes, this can be another variant. Here is going to be another variant and here is going to be yet three more variants here. And we can do so for each gene. For example, three variants here. And I don't want to get a mess here, but you got an idea. We are going to get here 27 combinations of different genotypes. But we don't have to write down all these connections and list all the genotypes. We just can calculate that we are going to have 27 different genotypes and 8 different phenotypes. So our answer is going to be answer D. You also have to pay attention. For example, uh, we have answer C, which state 8 genotypes and 27 phenotypes. Do not also mess this. We have 8 phenotypes and we have 27 genotypes. So please pay attention when you choose the correct answer. Sometimes you just go from top to bottom. You find uh, numbers which uh, suit your answer, but do not pay attention to words. Please pay attention. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video. Goodbye.